Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I want to go over a problem uh, that I did on Boolean algebra in a previous video. I've been asked uh, numerous questions on this problem and I made a mistake uh, when I originally posted this video and I added an annotation. I forgot this inverter symbol right here. But someone uh, asked me to uh, go over this problem again to show how you get from uh, this Boolean equation to this simplified Boolean equation. Um, I'd like to have 100% retention, uh, but I don't, so I have to go over this uh, to remind myself how to approach this. And just like in algebra, you have to have agreed upon rules on how to approach this, uh, or you could get different results depending on the person uh, that decides to solve the problem. So there are some rules and it brings into a lot of things. It brings in De Morgan's theorems and a lot of the Boolean theorems for uh, simplifying uh, gates. So we have this circuit here and the example showed that one of the one of the benefits of Boolean algebra is if both of these circuits uh, produce the same result, then of course this is going to be more cost effective because there are a lot more, it's fewer components and you end up with the same output given the uh, same inputs that, uh, that you get with this circuit. So this has a lot more gates and this is a, a sim more simplified circuit. So we could just go ahead and plug in uh, every combination of ones and zeros uh, in a truth table to show that these two are these two circuits are equal and produce the same outputs for a given input. But uh, there are some rules that we should uh, agree to before trying to simplify this, and just like in an ordinary algebra. And these are the rules that if you were to plug in ones and zeros uh, for those inputs and determine the output, uh, the first thing you want to do is to perform all inversions of single terms, uh, perform all operations within parentheses, perform AND operations before an OR operation unless parentheses indicate otherwise. And lastly, if an expression has a bar over it, perform the operations of the expressions first, then invert. So given those, um, keep that in back of your mind when you approach the simplification of this um, Boolean equation. And also, De Morgan's theorems, remind us about De Morgan's theorems here where if we had uh, an OR gate with an inverter at the end, which is a NOR gate, that's equivalent to an AND gate with two inverters on the inputs. So you invert uh, the inputs before they go into the AND gate. And here we have uh, an AND gate with an inverter on the output, which is a NAND gate. And that's equivalent to an OR gate with two inverters on its input. So X is inverted and Y is inverted, and then they are or together. These are all equivalent. So this helps when trying to simplify uh, a Boolean equation also. So here's the equation, and we want to simplify this, and we have to remind ourselves that this is not ordinary algebra, this is Boolean algebra, so it's um, algebra associated with logic gates. So the first thing we're looking at is this large inverter over two elements here. And we want to break that up with De Morgan's theorem. So this becomes A double naught and this changed to an AND and we have B C naught. And it's still within parentheses. So we know that a double inversion cancels, so you end up with the original term. So this becomes A and B, C naught. So still concentrating on the inside here. Now we have uh, an inverter over two elements, B and C, 
And using De Morgan's theorem again, we can break that up. So we have A and, and this becomes B inverted or together or together with C inverted. And so what we can do now is we can distribute A. So what we'll end up with is A B naught or together with A C naught. And we still have the parentheses here. And let's bring down these elements here. So now we can use the distributive rule or distributive theorem. And so this becomes A, A, and B, and B naught, or together with A. A, B, C naught. So now we can bring in those theorems concerning individual logic gates. So what happens, for instance, um, an A and an A? Well, let me go get another whiteboard. So if we, if we recall, if we have an AND gate, and we have an input A or X and we tie that together. The output here will be A. So A and A is equal to A. So this is just A. And this is B, B naught, or together with A, B, and C naught. Now we have this term here, B and B naught. Well, we know that if we have B and B naught going into an AND gate, Right, this, this is B. If B is 1, B naught is 0. Well, you only get an output of 1 on an AND gate if both inputs are 1. So this guarantees that the output will always be a 0. So this is A AND with a constant 0. Now this is where you might start thinking about ordinary algebra. This is a constant logic level zero that you're anding with a variable a two, you know, um, that has a possibility of being a zero or a one. Well, we know that another example here is if we have an AND gate and we tie one of the inputs to zero and this is the, the input A, that no matter what A is, because we've tied one of the inputs to zero, this output will always be zero. So now that this, this is a logic level zero, and remember this isn't the plus sign, this is being ORed together with A, B, C naught. So we have A, B, C naught, and again, using a single uh, gate theorem. Remember, this could be, you can just substitute this and cons consider it as one element, say X. Uh, so if we have an OR gate, we know that one of the theorems is that if you have an OR gate and you tie one of the inputs so it's always zero, and you have the other one as X, in this case, X is equal to A, B, C naught, that the output will always be X. So 
in essence, x is equal to a, b, c naught. So this long expression is equivalent to this expression here. So that's the process you use uh, to get from this original Boolean circuit with its uh, output expression to the simplified circuit with its output expression. I hope you found this video helpful, uh, interesting, and uh, feel free to like, subscribe, and or comment. And thanks for watching.